name is Nicole. Um, I'm a tea writer and educator, and I'm here to help you learn more about tea. So today we're going to talk about cast iron teapots, um, how to use them, how not to use them, um, and how to take care of them to make sure that they last you a really long time. You can find these sold in a lot of tea stores or Asian grocery stores. Um, a lot of people may have bought these at Tivana when they were still open. So you're basically going to use it the same way that you would any teapot. Um, most of them do come with like a stainless steel infuser basket. And so this is kind of where your tea would go. That way you can remove it once your tea is done brewing. I would say the most important thing to do when you're using these teapots is to preheat them. Um, so just fill it with plain hot water um, and then dump that out before you brew your tea. Um, the reason for that is that the cast iron is cold and if you brew your tea in it right away uh, without preheating, that teapot is going to basically suck all the heat out of the water. Um, where if you preheat the pot, that's actually going to keep your tea hotter for longer and that's going to prevent it from losing its temperature quickly. Now, there are a few myths about these, um, so I wanted to make sure to cover those. Um, they do not add minerals to your tea. They do not absorb nutrients. They do not get better with every brew. Um, it's not the same at all as a clay teapot, um, so it does not have any of those properties. When you're taking care of your cast iron teapot, you want to make sure to clean it immediately after use. Do not leave the tea sitting in there for an extended period of time. Um, just rinse it out um, with hot water. That's really all you need. Never use soap. Um, never put it in the dishwasher, um, as that will absolutely damage your pot. Um, if you do start to get some tea stains inside, um, you can give that a rub with a soft cloth and, or a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, and usually that'll come off right away. Once your teapot is clean, um, you also want to make sure to let it dry thoroughly. Um, if you don't do that, it will rust. Um, so I usually will flip the pot upside down um, onto a soft cloth. Um, that way it'll keep water from pooling in your spout area. It is very important to understand that a cast iron teapot, um, especially one that you find for sale, um, for like say the American market is not the same as the cast iron teapots that are used in the Japanese tea ceremony. Those are called tetsubin. Um, these are basically a kind of a copy of that design, um, but they are different in one very, very important way. Um, so inside of most cast iron teapots that you purchase will be lined with enamel. Um, and so Basically, that means that your water is not coming into contact with the metal itself. Um, and that also means that this is not ever supposed to be put onto a heat source. Do not put it on a stove. Do not put it on a, um, you know, an infrared heater um, or any kind of heat source. Um, some companies will sell like a candlelight warmer. That's okay because it's a very low amount of heat. In general, you want to avoid directly heating your, your cast iron teapot um, is it will crack the enamel um, and basically damage it so that you can't use it. Um, if the enamel inside of your teapot has become flaky um, or starts chipping, unfortunately you will have to stop using that teapot, um, turn it into a planter or something like that, but definitely don't make tea in it if that's happening. The reason that most people do use cast iron teapots is because they're incredibly durable. Um, it's virtually impossible to break these um, compared to glass or porcelain. I wrote a blog post on cast iron teapots that goes a little bit more in depth, so I'll link that up there. Let me know in the comments if you have cast iron teapots and what you like to brew in them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.